Hey everybody, it's Eric J from Northern Gunner. As many of you know, we've been mountain biking for years, and with the growing popularity of mountain biking, um, a lot of people are looking to get into the sport. So uh, we thought we'd take you guys up today to Capitol Forest, a little spot outside of Olympia, Washington, and take you down one of these trails. Now we're going to be going down, and I believe I'm pronouncing this right, it's called the Wedekind Trail, which is spelled W-E-D-E-K-I-N-D. And uh, I'll show you what it's like. So if you're interested, just follow along. Now, the things that we're going to be taking, the bikes we're going to be taking is, I have a stump jumper, specialized stump jumper. And um, my son has a gotcha. Scott gotcha. Genius 740. So if you're going to do this kind of thing, you're going to get into sport, you're going to need to buy a little bit better bikes than Walmart bikes. So um, just, just a heads up. So if you're looking to get into this and you're interested in information on this trail or any other trails in the Capitol Forest area, then um, my recommendation to you is to go to uh, your local bike shop. And generally speaking, they will have a map which shows you how do you get to this, how to get to this trail and many others in this general area. I recommend getting high quality gear and safety gear. I like to wear gloves. I'm planning on buying knee pads. I got a nice jersey to kind of help protect me in case I uh, brush up against branches or heaven forbid fall off the bike and roll down the trail a little bit. A good quality helmet and safety goggles. Some of the views you get from these trails are amazing. Hopefully you can hear me. But out in the distance, if the camera picks it up, is Mount Rainier. And it is looking good today. It's a little bit rocky, so when you're turning, just be careful because I've I, I heard that the trails, the rocks are loose when it's dry out. So I've heard, so I want to, I would be careful around that. But for the most part, there is, it's like any type of casual ride. Oh, fun. And then a couple bridges, and there's a really nice like waterfall. Oh, cool. Scenery there. One trip down, and we're back up to the top. We always try and make somebody the shuttle bunny. That's why it's good to go with uh, three people. So two people could be riding, and one person can just meet you at the bottom and take you back to the top.
I left it in D1. One of the no hardest way. things about producing a video is stopping at a certain section and recording and trying to make sure that everybody has a good time. So that's a pretty good challenge. So this is my son, Turbo. <laughs> we like to call him Turbo because nobody can keep up with him. <laughs> He's going to help me edit and produce this video. Say hello to everybody, Turbo. Hi. <laughs> And they're off. Good luck, Mr. Turbo, catching Big Daddy. Okay, so we're gonna close out this video. So today we rode um, Upper Wedekin. And um, we, we rode Green Line Thai, and then the Green Line Trail, the upper portion of that. And then you just went down uh, Little Arch Mountain. Yeah. Little Arch Mountain, and he really likes that one. Uh, the Green Line, the Green Line tie is a pretty uphill, so if you're into that kind of thing, riding uphill, then that one's probably more up your alley. And then the Green Line proper is uh, is a little rutty and rocky, and it's uh, not for a novice rider, so be aware of that. And then the Wedekin is. Uh, is really is is fun and flowy and not that hard, so um, that's that's my recommendation of the trails that we have rode so far. So uh, I think we're gonna go up one more time. You yeah. Gonna go up one more time. Yeah. Okay, we're gonna go up one more time up Little Lurch, and uh, and ride it back down. So thank you for watching. And if, like I said, if you want more information on these trails, you could probably pick up a bike map at your local bike shop. Uh, for the Capital Forest bike trails and uh, we will see you on the next one. Mm -hmm.